So let's talk about what actually raises your cholesterol because it's probably not what you think. So it's not about the butter or the red meat that you're eating. There are hidden reasons that your numbers might be creeping up, even if you think that you're eating well. So hi, my name's Anita. I'm a 53 year old nutrition student and ex-cardiac ICU nurse. And I'm here to help you make sense of all of this so that you can actually start adjusting what you're eating and feel better for it. Okay, so let's have a little look at the three most common causes that might be causing a rise in your cholesterol that you haven't thought about. So number one is ultra processed foods and refined carbs. So those quick fix ready meals or white bread or pastries or even crisps could be actually contributing to your cholesterol levels. Number two is the hormonal changes. So if you're perimenopausal or menopausal, if your testosterone is dropping, if you're a man, these shifts can actually raise your LDL and lower your HDL, even if your diet hasn't changed, because especially in women, estrogen is a cardio protection. So if your estrogen is fluctuating, your protection is also fluctuating. Number three is sedentary lifestyle. So not moving enough can actually affect the enzymes that help you clear fat from your blood. Even light daily movement improves your lipid profile over time. So now we know what some of the causes could be. Let's have a little look at what we can do to change. So adding fiber, at least 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day is going to really help contribute to removal of cholesterol. So eat things like sweet potato, lots of vegetables, oats, beans and berries. So try to eat the rainbow. Colorful fruit and veg are anti-inflammatory and contain those all important phytonutrients. Focus on eating healthy fats like avocado, nuts, seeds, olive oil and oily fish. So another one is to actually get moving. So daily walks at speed or 15 to 20 minutes of movement really, really help. Okay, so if you've just had a recent blood test and it shows that your numbers are going up and you feel like nothing has changed, it might be time to just look under the surface a little bit. It's not just about the fat, it's about what's driving the cholesterol up in the first place. So let me know in the comments, what's the biggest surprise you've heard from this video so far and what one change are you going to try and do this week?